So Protator just got its official release a couple of uh, weeks ago for me, because uh, this video took a long as fucking time. And it releases some new characters, and I'm just gonna play around with one of these characters called the Renegade. But first, I actually need to unlock him. So let's do a compilation style of me dying a whole bunch of different characters so I can actually unlock it. Fuck! Well, let's try it again. I I just I just no 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 no. Bop 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 bop. I'm gonna die. Oh, especially now that fucking Aggie is there. Oh my god. Well, we did get the Renegade. Plus two projectiles. What? Projectile piece to additional target. Plus the damage for every different tier 1 item you have. You can't equip melee weapons. Minus 400% damage. Minus 50% accuracy. Damage modification reduced by 80%. Whoa. That's a wild character. So I'll give you a quick overview of how the Renegade really works. Now, he has just a lot of projectiles. Plus two projectiles on every gun. So the best decision is always going to be a fast shooting gun. So you get a lot more of those projectiles. Your projectiles also pierce through an additional target, with of course the dam normal damage drop up that you get with piercing. And you get plus 10% damage for every tier 1 item you have. Now this is a bit changed because your damage modifications are actually reduced by 80%. But you also get a minus 400% damage. So, you get minus 400% damage, but it's only, um, it's only 20% of that. So it's about minus 80, just about. Not really, but it's somewhere around there, I'm not quite sure. But you get plus 10%, which is actually only like 2% for every tier 1 item you buy. So basically, you're gonna shoot a lot of weak shots, uh, if you go for a fast shooting weapon, which is the one that I would recommend personally. And then you're gonna have a good ass fucking time, because you're just gonna be shooting a bunch, and it's gonna be fun as fuck. You're ideally gonna wanna get some pumpkins, so you can't get your piercing damage up, and ideally you should be fine. Something else that I would actually recommend is going for lifesteal. Not just because this is a great uh, weapon and lifesteal is just always good. You shoot a lot of projectiles, which means you can get a lot of lifesteal procs. Most of the time, I just had like 15% lifesteal. And I felt like I've had enough for my entire run, but I still just kept on getting more because I'm a good bitch. But that's all that you really need because every single projectile can proc piercing twice. Uh, can proc lifesteal twice because of the piercing. So it's just a really good choice. Also, I went for crit a lot, because that's just um, adding 50% to your damage, which is reduced by quite a bunch. So it's a good choice, in my opinion. Now I'll stop just chit-chatting in your ears, and actually show you some runs that I did with Renegade, until I finally fucking win. Because, fucking hell, this took a long time. Here you can see me failing, just because I didn't have enough damage. Now my, my all the rest was just amazing, but I just didn't have enough damage for this one. Because I couldn't even kill all the edge just spawning in, let alone the boss. So I had to run away all the time and just eventually I died. We need to get enough damage, it's important. This one is actually quite sad because it looked really good. But what I did is I didn't go for any HP basically, I had a lot of just damage going out, I've got a lot of life still as well, so it was good until the point where I actually got hit twice in, a, in, a, in a rapid succession, then I died. So I would not recommend just going for a glass cannon with this guy, um, in general I wouldn't recommend going for a glass cannon because if you get hit twice you're basically just done. You could probably put it off but I'm not skilled enough to do so, so that, that was my main issue with this one. The damage world was actually pretty damn good. Now, with this one, it was actually just me being a, a, a fucking idiot. I, I know this sounds weird to just, you know, say, but I am an idiot, and I don't know how to play at all. I, I just suck. So here, I just genuinely died, because I sucked. Not any... anything else. I, I, I just sucked. Yep. For this next clip, I actually started talking, because I was getting confident, which... Well, you're gonna find out if it was misplaced or not. 
All right, come on. Which is it? Chargy, okay. So we'll have to deal with Chargy. Good. We do a fuck ton of damage. Lovely. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take that happily. Thank you very much. Holy shit! Okay. Sure, I'll take you. 14 times 3 with a piercing with only minus 35% and we also have 66% crit chance with a tentacle we just need some more max HP also take some range and some more damage I mean come on it's still me we're talking about bandana is amazing we'll also take this because I'm bad at picking shit up Another oh, level trees. G. Fuck yeah. Okay. Okay, we should be just a okay right now. Come on, man. I'm trying to get this one so on. I like this character. I don't mind playing him more, but it's kind of sad to see him die every time. Once I actually, you know, get him done with Danger 5, then I can just play him on my own and have some fun without needing to record it, because I will already have done it on Danger 5. Because I also just like playing this game on my own time. Recording it, it's kind of like, yeah, you need to do something else with it as well. And I just, sometimes I just want to play it on at like 3 a.m., you know? What characters actually completed with wave on the Danger 5 I can do that with? Alright, let's see. Um, some luck. Get you and you. I should have probably gotten that one sooner. Because this boss is going to be here. We can do this. Okay. Let's see, who is it? It's this fella. He has a knife. Look out, honey. He has a knife. Oh, yeah. The fuck? Yeah, so it was definitely misplaced. I'm sorry for my reaction, let's call it that, uh, at the end. But uh, I, I, I really wanted to win, okay? I guess, like, I love the character, but I really wanted to win with him. So I say that I can win with him, of course. What? Um... I mean, his skills have ranged. Um, guess I'm gonna go for a chain gun. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, so. For people who didn't know, in this update, there were also. Yeah, oh, by the way. Hi! It's been a long time since I've actually needed to talk on one of these, because goddammit, this has been taking me such a long time. For people who didn't know, there's also been uh, some new additions to this uh, game called Legendary Guns. Not just Legendary Tier Guns, but guns with a tag of legendary and what they do is they are extremely good I think you have three of them you have the, the one that we just got the chain gun oh you have four you have the chain gun the Excalibur which is just a really 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 high damaging uh, sword you have um, the sickle which is basically like a lifesteal esque thing I don't actually think it's called a sickle but it is a sickle it gives you like a lot of lifesteal and it drains HP and gives you damage. It's, it's a really good thing to have on the Masochist. Uh, and you have the laser machine gun, which is a laser machine. Uh, not, not a machine gun. Uh, fucking um, Gatling gun. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. I don't care. But we got the chain gun. I'm gonna buy that. 
because uh, this shit is good. I could not to him. More attack speed. But no, this this is a good thing to have. And if you get more legendary weapons, you also lose max XP. So you don't want to do that. So basically, you're only gonna get one. It's just it's just good, man. especially when you have uh, forty percent crit chance, which is basically like a fifty fifty. So that mean twenty five percent of the enemies you kill will give you an HP if you don't have HP, which is pretty damn good. We also have a little bit of life steal, which is actually a lot of life steal because we shoot really fucking fast. Like really fucking fast. So yeah, that's fucking lovely. Our minigun's putting the work as well. Let's actually look at this. Does it okay, can you go away, thank you. It does have two piercing. Ah, that's what I thought. I mean the second piece is gonna do no damage at all, but hey, something. I also haven't gotten the boxing glove. I would actually like some my bag. Like which is always useful in my opinion. I mean not always. Mostly on range builds. Yeah. Mostly on range builds. Alright, let's wait for let's take some speed. Tentacle. A bit of range. Can't do anything with you. Uh, bait, I mean, it's not gonna hurt me at all, and it would take my damage up another percentage. Uh, more HP and also a little bit more damage, right? Yes. <laughs> Peacock, hell no. And let's take you, because I dodge is already fucked him anyway. Okay. Oh my god, I hate myself so fucking much. Yep, I even lost with a legendary chain gun. This is embarrassing as fuck. But, but, yeah. But, um, only one run after uh, this happened. Let's do this shit. Come on, 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 but I'm so happy I got this one. This is such a fun character. Hey, please, please leave a like and subscribe because this, this shit took a long as fucking time. I even got fucking five tractors. I mean, come on. Alright, I'm back and subscribe and I'll fucking see you next time. Bye <laughs> bye.